I'm going to show a notebook which uh, investigates coin flips and reproducibility. So in this notebook I have a uh, Python script where I have a sequence of interest of say 13 coin flip outcomes where I've got heads and tails respectively or vice versa, your one and two outcome for the coin flip. I've got 13 of those coin flips. And what I want to investigate for those 13 coin flips is if I did another 13 coin flips, how often would I have to do that in order to find that same sequence? So the way that I sort of naively implement this is that I'm going to have uh, the number of coin flips uh, as a counter. That'll be starting at zero. And then I'm going to do a bunch of coin flips uh, inside of a loop. So the, the function that I'm going to uh, call is create random sequence. That's basically doing the coin flip. And I'm going to keep track of both how long it is and the total number of coin flips I've done so far. In the uh, infinite loop here, so while true, that's an infinite loop, then we're going to see uh, whether or not that randomly generated sequence is a match to the sequence that we initially started with. So we're going to use a Boolean indicator here to say, I haven't found a match yet. And then the question becomes, is the randomly generated sequence the same as the sequence uh, that we were investigating? So this for loop right here uh, loops over every element in the list of interest to figure out is that value in the sequence of interest the same as the entries that were randomly created. And if uh, the, the each element matches, this remains, this becomes true. Otherwise, uh, if these are not the same at each element, then we have an else statement that the pattern is broken, so we say that the found match is false. In which case, we reset the sequence that we've randomly generated to be blank again, and then we break out of the for loop. So we exit this for loop uh, with this condition. Once we've broken out of the for loop, or the for loop has terminated because it ran out to the end of the sequence, then we test. What did, did we find a match? If that match condition is still true, which is only happening up here, then we would say, let's print this run and we'll break out of the while loop. So this while loop will just keep going indefinitely if it never finds a match from our randomly generated sequences. But if the randomly generated sequence does match the sequence that we're looking for, then we will break out of the infinite loop. This is a, a useful tactic when we don't know how many loop iterations we have to do. We just have to keep doing it until the condition is uh, met. So at the end, we're going to print out how many coin flips did it take to get that uh, randomly generated sequence to match the sequence that we cared about. All right, so let's go look at that random create random sequence. Remember, we're passing in how long of a sequence to make, and we're keeping track of how many coin flips we've used so far. So our function here looks like that we create a list and then we loop over however many elements in the list that we need to create. That's the number of coin flips. Then we flip our coin to figure out what is the outcome for this coin flip. We count that towards the total number of coin flips so far. And then we put that outcome in our list. Now we have a list of coin flip values and the total number of coin flips that have been uh, generated so far, and we return those two values back to our, our outcome from the function. So these two parameters are being set by this function, which takes two arguments. So as a way of uh, just validating that this random sequence uh, generator works, uh, see what that looks like when we uh, provide the create random sequence two arguments. We're going to have it create a sequence of five coin flips 
And so far, we've done no coin flips. When we provide that to the function, the outcome is that we get a list back of uh, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. So this could be heads, heads, tails, tails, heads. And that would be our randomly generated sequence uh, for the, from the function. All right, now we have built some confidence in this function that it does what we need. And then we're going to run through our while loop, calling this function uh, as many times as it takes to find one match. All right, so I'm going to run this, and it found a sequence that matches our original, our original sequence. This was our input. This is what we we're looking for. And it found that in a half second after 53,000 coin flips. That's pretty impressive. Python did 53,000 coin flips and eventually found a sequence that matches our original input of 13 uh, values. So we can do this again. We can increase this. So I'm just going to note here this is uh, 0 0.5 seconds. So let's look at these other sequence uh, operations. So this one's a bit longer. How long is that? 18 entries. So let's rerun the notebook. So now we're going to run through that same search of, uh, let's see how many coin flips it takes to get a sequence of 18 coin flips. Here it's going to take a little bit longer because it has to go through, uh, let's see how many is this. This is 3.5 million coin flips to reproduce our 18 coin flips. So this is kind of cool. We're just seeing how many coin flips it takes to reproduce random sequence. And then we're noticing that the more coin flips that we had in our original sequence, the longer it's taking. 